Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. This welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in to the channel. Happy New Year, Saggies. Okay. Um, I hope you guys are getting off to a really great start to the new year. Um, this is going to be a lot of challenges, changes for you guys uh, this year. I feel like in 2022, you went through a major transformation. Spirit is ready to gossip. I'm just curious. Yeah, yeah. first card out is death, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, wow. A lot of changes. Yeah, eight of cups. Okay. I'm going to leave that middle card flipped. And I'm just going to talk for a second. <laughs> you guys went through a lot of changes in 2022. Uh, a lot of revelations, a lot of reveals, a lot of um, things that were exposed, revealed to you and things like that or whatever. And um, it's time for you guys in 2023 to take back your power, regain your strength, heal, heal situations, um, within your life, walk away with what, uh, from what no longer serves you, which is funny because the Eight of Cups is here, which is uh, for what you, for what some of you guys are doing. Check it out, resonates, okay? So um, I'm going to get into the energies here, even though I started uh, with the tarot. I'm just going to leave it here, but I'm going to go into messages from spirit, okay? This is for the sign of Sagittarius for your January 2023. Reading, Summon Rising Venus North Node. First card out actually is death that flipped over, okay? So you guys could, could have went through a death, an ending of some sort, or there was a death in your family. My condolences to you guys, okay? I'm going to leave this card un, uh, flipped for right now. I want to see what the current message is um, from Spirit is for you guys, okay? Uh, for the things you need to know for your highest good, Sagittarius is... What is that? Yeah, cool your emotions, Yeah. Full moon in Aries, okay? So some of you guys have kind of an Aries moon, don't have to. Um, but it's time for you guys to cool your emotions. So you guys are going through some type of emotional distress right now. Um, Spirit is saying that you need to cool your emotions. Something you could have found out, revealed, uh, or something that was revealed to you or whatever is having you very stressful. Or you could be highly emotional due to missing someone, due to a death or some type of ending in a connection, a relationship, or a literal death within a friendship, family member, or something to that effect, okay? Talk less, feel more, less, uh, last quarter moon in Pisces, okay? That's what you need to do here. Some of you guys are trying to bury your emotions um, as well. Um, and it's like kind to, and because you're burying your emotions, you're, you're, uh, you're like a ticking time bomb, which is why spirit is saying you need to cool your emotions, talk less, and actually feel more. Let those emotions out, okay? Um, you know, some of you guys are bottling them in, holding them in, not expressing yourself. Um, and I get it for some of you guys, you're not expressing because when you do express it, comes out in such a very uh, passionate and dramatic way. Um, Sagittarius is, I don't mean that in any disrespectful way, but it's just, you know, the nature of just for how some of you are. Yeah. And part of this is that because you guys are being called to forgive. Full moon in Pisces. Okay. When you forgive, your love and everything else around you shines through. Right? New moon in Leo. So, you guys, whatever it is, you need to end something. And cool your emotions is taking you out of your uh, your spiritual element here. Okay? So I'm going to here put death here on the flip side to this. It is the high priestess. Yeah, Cancerian energy here. Uh, something is you're using your intuition to end something out and walk away from what no longer serves you. OK, clarifying, forgive. Yeah, forgive yourself, forgive that person um, and walk away. It's like you're using your high, higher intuition to end something with someone that, you know, don't serve you no good. I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, um, it's not good for your health. Spirit is calling you to uh, only move towards um, those who are showing you genuine love, care, and support at this time. Yeah, 
There it is. Victory and success is ahead. And you will shine once you walk away from what no longer serves you. Using your higher intuition, you know you need to end something. You know you need to end something, whether it's... um Now, now mind you, with the ending, this doesn't necessarily have to mean it's um you ending something with a person. But it also could be something that you need to let go. Some of you guys are holding on to a situation, uh, maybe a past event or something like that. Um, that you could either be feeling really regretful about, um, a, a ending that you can't change, um, or whatever, you could just only move forward, or something that someone did to you. Spirit is calling you, um, if it's something that someone did to you, you need to feel that pain, okay? Um, you masking it and not expressing yourself is actually causing you uh, sickness and will lead to your own demise unfortunately okay um in the way um these angels are grieving over this woman uh for some of you and you she see how she's holding the white flowers so yeah some of you guys could have also lost someone okay um you could have known something was going on with this person with the high priestess energy as well and um it's it's, it's now you're being called to move um to calmer waters elsewhere or or to move on or let that let let that release that energy and let something go once you release a, a person or something in your energy that's been bothering you guys you will uh, find yourself being victorious and successful um, um in what it is that you're looking to move forward towards yeah so you got you're being called to uh, gather your strength at this time sagittarius leo energy here what is it yeah, the sun. Some of you, you guys are going through depression. Okay, so this ending, um, so you guys could have lost someone. I don't know why I'm getting that strong, but you could have lost someone or if you didn't lose them in death, you could have uh, ended a friendship or some type of relationship, whether it was a friend, family member or something like that. But it's causing you to go through a depression uh, with the sun being in the reverse right? You're trying to gain your strength, your courage, and um, you guys are kind of in a sad energy right now. The emperor, yeah, Aries energy. It's like spirit is saying that, you know, it's time for you to take back your power with the emperor here. You guys could be in your emperor energies. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, and go and go towards love. So something also too, this is telling me too that you guys could have ended a relationship um with a past person um that it's making you really sad um that you had to do this, but it's like a decision needed to be made when it came uh when it comes to this person, right? Um, because for some of you guys, it caused you nothing but stress, chaos, and mayhem is the energy I'm feeling. Um, or you guys were having a, a really hard time overcoming this loss. Um, but when you do, um, you will do so very um, powerfully and it will lead you to towards, uh, you know, your, your, uh, your true love of uh, this two of cups. And for some of you guys, an uh, ending there was an ending that happened, or uh, whatever, and um, and it was a necessary ending. However, you being courageous, it, and it was something that you needed to do um, when it came to for some of you guys a family situation, uh, whether as if you left a, a marriage or actual family dynamic in some di way, like maybe your immediate family members, I should say, like your your mom and dad or something like that. Um, you're gaining your strength, being very courageous, um, overcoming this this sadness and depression, um, standing in your power and going towards your to a cup. So this is also an indication of you could have had to let someone go, a, a family situation go, so that you could go towards your true love or your your two of cups, okay? Something in that relationship was holding you back from your true love or your happiness, and it was making you, it's been making you very depressed. Oh my goodness, yeah. What is it? Give me a bottom row for my Sagittarius. 
Make sure you guys hit that like, share, subscribe button. Make sure you guys come in to watch this video, Sagis, so that it can get out to other Sagittarians. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, so we have uh, somebody is defending a situation. You're, you know, um, overcoming some type of, um, definitely overcoming some obstacles with the Seven of Wands here. But this is also you uh, fighting off any competition um, when it comes to you getting to towards uh, your true love, okay? You know that um, this is going to be a hard fight for you, um, but you're willing to, to do the fight is what I'm, I'm get, gathering here. You, this also is an energy of this forgiveness is standing out really, really, really strong. I feel like you're ha you've been having a really hard time to forgive a situation. Why? Why is the sun in reverse? Three of Pentacles. Okay. So you want to work together with someone. You're going to make the effort to work together with someone. Or there could be three three people involved that you, you've been fighting against. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Uh, when, it, uh, when it came to a situation that had you feeling left out in the cold. Or, or you want to come defend a uh, connection. Um, and work it out um, after feeling left out in the cold and missing someone. Yeah, your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Okay, yeah. Uh, under under the Two of Cups here, okay? So we have victory, success to a Two of Cups and the Nine of Cups, which is your wish fulfillment, which is really, really good. You being in your emperor power, you are moving away from what no longer serves you. Um, and for some of you guys, you are going through some financial struggles as well. But you, it's like, and, you, and you're... Or you feel like it was a missed opportunity or some loss uh, towards your Nine of Cups here. You, uh, the Three of Pentacles, clear, uh, under the sun in reverse, um, is telling me that there could be like more than one person working against you, trying to keep you left out in a cold from your, your wish fulfillment here. Mm-hmm. Death to the strength to the seven of wands. So you guys do, you're working on a rebirth. Something ended, okay? Or you ended something and you're gaining your courage back and, and, is, and is now coming to fight um, and defend your honor in a situation after uh, there was multiple people involved in this situation it's like a third party situation even though it's the three of pentacles i am getting three party inner third party energy here it's like threes could also be multiple people working on a situation or you wanting to work something out with someone uh that you see your is your true love your wish fulfillment with the two of cups here okay so um a lot of a lot is going on here okay it's like there's a lot of secrets as well with the high priestess, but it's like you also have some higher inner knowing um, about a connection, Sagittarius, that is really weighing on you, okay? These are general messages, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. All of these messages will not resonate with you, okay? Death, yeah. So, page of source. So, there's a lot of, uh, to the death card, I feel like there's a lot of gossiping and spying in a situation, okay, which is why your emotions are also really running high at this time. This bird is telling you you need to calm them down. Um, you could be spying. Someone could be spying on you, gossiping about you, talking about you. But this is also you trying to use some type of strategy as well to have a rebirth in a situation, okay? Um, you know, using your higher intuition, your highest discernment about um, how to get exactly what it is that you want, which is the four of wands, clarifying the high priestess, okay? It's like you are you trying to also see if somebody's also could be spying on you to see if you have entered into a union um, with someone. Take it out, resonates, yeah. But I feel like this is something that you want or you're trying to see 
if someone has moved on into a connection. Um, but definitely manifestations is here on the eight of cups. Okay. You guys could have, um, man, you could be manifesting a new beginning to have with someone you're trying to, the page of swords is also someone studying someone as well is what I'm getting here. Manifesting them in wanting, longing, and yearning for a family union with this person because Again, you have the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Someone that you want a family with, uh, that you have wishes, you know, to begin a family. You look, you got the dog, the baby. There's the wife, perhaps, okay? Someone you see as loving and uh, nurturing and just really, um, just really, you know, gets all your bells and whistles going. You want victory and success here with this. A person, right? Six of Wands here to the Two of Cups. You do want a, a connection or love connection with someone, but you've also been going through some deep rooted depression here. Could be behind multiple people that's in your energy. Off the top, what is it? This is the truth, Ace of Swords. You're going to bring in some truth and clarity or you got some newfound clarity about a situation as well after spying or looking into a situation um, when it comes to this love connection here. Okay, you found out some truth or you want to bring truth and clarity or you want to let this person know I want to be with you. I want a union with you. Nine of Cups, you are my wish fulfillment. I see marriage with you. I see a future with you. Okay. Or they want to bring this into you. Take the rose, flip them, how they play out in your storyline. Yeah, what is it? Queen of Cups. Strength here. It's just like, you go back, You guys could be embodying the Queen of Cups energy. What's, who's the Queen of Cups? Who's the Queen of Cups? The Chariot. Someone that you want to go towards. Yep. Or they want to come towards you. Cancerian energy. Is this also an energy of willpower, right? It's just like um, somebody is or somebody is sending you with the chariot card here. That could be a queen of cups sending you encouragement and strength, right? Because the chariot is movement, right? So somebody is helping you gain your strength as well. Could be a queen of cups to have forward movement. To um, so that you could come out of this depression, they could be sending you positive love, light, and energy at this time. Sagittarius is what I'm really getting. Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, uh, because behind the scenes, for some of you guys, you are you could feel like you could be fighting for your life. I don't know why why I'm thinking that, but yeah, um, but you guys are are there's a queen of cups who um. You're gaining your strength from to move forward from um, because of all the fighting. Five of Swords um, here. What's the Five of Swords? Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, the world. Yeah, because you're closing out a cycle with them, Sagittarius. Yeah, look, the world card. Yeah, it's like you're, it's like you're completing out this cycle. This is why you're depressed or they could be depressed as well. Take it out. It resonates. Um, but I feel like this person caused you a lot of depression and distress in a connection yeah always fighting arguing or uh, whatever take it out resonates for some of you guys um you guys could be completing either cycle to start a new beginning as well to have forward movement in your emperor energy what's the emperor what's the emperor spirit okay and we got a flipper here, but this one's first. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is, um, you, you will be victorious in this. Yeah. There will be victory. There you are. Look at you. King of Wands. Yeah. Right? To the Two of Cups. Yeah. So you will be victorious in this connection um, that you want to go towards or whatever. But you will be met with a lot of fighting and conflict and things like that because you are ending out a cycle with, um, for some of you guys, it could be a Queen of Cups. Yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a uh, ex-lover, a family member, a mother, mother of your child, baby mom, take it out, resonates. It's just an energy, flip the roles. Yeah, um, you're clearing out a cycle with someone. This Queen of Cups energy 
and it's taking a toll on you um because some of the actions that they've taken um to uh come in between uh this connection as well um whatever it's been um it's been very draining for you because to the point where you feel like you're missing out on your actual wish fulfillment with the five of pentacles some of you guys has been to the point also where you are going through some type of financial burdens at this time some type of um uh, hiccup in your uh, finances um due to being depressed not being able to work as much yeah six of pentacles to the seven um to the seven of wands but something is balancing out um for you guys right clarifying the seven of wands yeah <laughs> which is a good thing yeah and the judgment is being brought down on the three of pentacles so um it's like whatever it is that you want to work towards it's like you're making this decision to actually go and get it but for some of you guys too this judgment is karma on these three individuals who's been causing you strife to keep you out um in the cold from having this wish fulfillment this nine of cups yeah mm -hmm. hangman is here look yeah reward sacrifice so you guys is sacrificing something what is it yeah you definitely sacrifice making some sacrifices and some very necessary changes yeah to move to calmer waters yep a needed change you know you need to make this change in order to have this wish fulfillment and it's um it's causing you to for some of you guys have gone into deep um isolation due to your depression as well yeah three of cups third party is here yep so you're moving to calmer waters from a third party um a situation here so that you could have a celebration and have this nine of cups what's the three of cups here off the top page of cups yeah uh to uh to a new beginning in love yeah so you guys are you know, moving to calmer waters so that you could have a new beginning in love but there is a, a, i still feel strong third party energy here yeah page of pentacles you're gonna make an offer Yep, absolutely. To move to calmer waters and start over and have a new beginning. Uh, yeah, after heartbreak, three of swords. Libra energy, yeah, because you're going through severe heartbreak without, uh, from not being with this person is the energy I strongly feel, what I say, from not being with this person, the empress. Libra, Taurus, energy here is who you want to be with. Damn. Damn, Sadies. Yeah. There it is. Somebody who's very nurturing, caring, and loving towards you, okay? But it's just like you've been met with obstacles and challenges and everything. Also, too, this is you being depressed because of a situation, um, so just the overall situation that you're going through behind the scenes. Just to get to this empress, I felt like this empress may not know this as well, unbeknownst to them, um, that you're going through a lot of... Um, changes a lot of transition uh transitioning uh right now within your life um within yourselves as well removing what no longer serves you um people places and things things that's not moving you forward that's not for your highest good something will balance out though Okay. I'm too new to I was feeling parched. I need ice. <laughs> I mean, I heard the crunching in the video. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at all this. You got that third party of three of cups, but this is also celebration. You want to come into union and offer this new exciting offer of love. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. You could also this is like a seizing opportunity, right? To, and this also too could be a tangible offer as well. Um, but just also letting your person know that, hey, I want to lay something to rest. This hurts too much to be without you, my beautiful empress. Okay. Libra, Taurus, energy here for you. Okay. Um, this person is very loving, caring, supportive. Um. And this is why you, King of Wands, Leo Aries, Saggy, 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 that's you, um, wants to uh, bring us in. We do have an emperor here as well, uh, which means that there is a pair here on the board. Absolutely, there is a pair. 
right? Emperor, in, Empress, Emperor energy here. Uh, this could be a divine union as well. I'm just going to set those to the side. I'm going to pull up this spread really fast so that I can go into the messages behind the scene to get a little bit more insight of what's going on behind the scene, outside, which will basically confirm what I'm already energetically feeling. I feel like also, too, you guys walking, it's, it's a heavy burden for you guys. I'm going to tell you what I energetically feel. You guys are in this depression and all, and um, going through this really big change and feeling and in feeling this way because who you're walking away from um, could be right with the eight of cups here. You see how he's, you know what? I gotta go with. It's it's a situation of with or without you. You're just like I'm forgiving you. I'm forgiving you, but I'm walking away. This is a with or without you type of situation. I feel like some of you guys are walking away from family, uh, family members, um, or a family dynamic that you love. You love them so much, but it's like at the same time, uh, this dynamic is not. They don't. It's like they no longer align with where you are and your life's purpose. Okay, some of them. This is due to um lack of growth. Um, in their spiritual realm, how how they think about things, how they view things, how they view people, the world, um, and that type of thing. I'm really stuck in a very old way of doing things, um, the way they think, the way they see people, the world, all of that, which just doesn't align with where you are and your life today. Your growth, um, you know, you can outgrow family members. Um, I, we know the emperor and empress is here. I'm just gonna pull them in here. Um, you can outgrow family members. You can outgrow your spouse. You, you know, you are, and you're allowed to outgrow people. Um, but for you, it's such a painful ending because, um, it's, these are people that you don't want to let go, but you know, at the same time, keeping them is making you extremely unhappy. And that's a struggle for you. That's, you know, that's conflict for you. And I think you're tired of being in the energy of conflict. Um, you're tired of, you know, constantly having to fight, constantly have to explain yourself, constantly um, trying to uh, make amends for these individuals where there's no amends being made for you. And you can see how taxing and tiring that could be for these Sagis, um, which is why the sun came out in reverse and you are going through this severe depression because, I mean... You know, imagine walking away from all that you've ever known to go for all that you know you can be, even if it is with an empress or an emperor. If the rules flip them, how they uh, fit in the storyline, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine energies here um, that are watching. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. And the Sagittarius reading the real of tarot. Uh, but listen, I feel your sadness and I feel your pain. And um, this is something that's really, really hard and difficult for anyone um, because I know uh, ideally, you know, you would want everybody to be understanding and compromise, but I feel like you're not being met with that. I feel like you're being met with conflict, a lot of opinions, nasty words being slang around, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit talking about your empress. You know what I'm saying? Or emperor, take it out, resonates. Um, you know, but these are, but, and I feel like there's a lot of untruths um, being spoken, but the ace of swords fell out, but a lot of things are also being brought to light. Now, these things that are being brought to light could be against you, against this empress, her bow, or just within your old overall family dynamic, right? So if you're arguing, Going back and forth, um, a lot of healing, heavy feelings or emotions uh, are now coming to surface. Um, and you're getting real big clarity about how these individuals truly feel about you, what they think about you, your situation, this empress that you want to start this new uh, life with. Um, that's really the strong energy that I feel here, Sagis. And it's taxing. Um, it's hurtful. It's, um, it's almost unbearable because it's like you're losing everything you've ever known 
all of your life, but you know that it's toxic. It's not, um, it's not healthy for your growth. And, um, you know, it's time to move on. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a mother finger. Yeah. Gaining. Yep. There it is. Just what I said. Look, first card out. Queen of Pentacles. So if you got, like I said, and I'm speaking of family. So Queen of Pentacles is a mother figure here. or um, But there is a Queen of Pentacles in your energy uh, who is gaining insight on the situation when it comes to things that's going on in your life right now at this time. Yeah. Yeah. Be And, and it's... Um, and what it is that the, the insight that they're gaining is time to heal and evolve um, in this situation. Yeah. Oof. You feel disconnected from them. Um, very aloof energy. And it's your winning season and luck is on your side. Keep going. So, yeah. So, this Queen of Pentacles is getting new sight insight on a situation. And you, the reason why you're in this energy of depression is because you feel disconnected from this Queen of Pentacles or this family dynamic. Right? Just with everything that I'm saying, thank you, Spirit, for confirming. And you know it's time to heal and evolve. But I feel like while luck and, and winning is, is and luck is on your side, you know, it's um and everything is happening for your highest good, it's also a painful ending as well. Um because you just feel disconnected from all the people that you love right now. Um, yeah. Oof, look. Yep, you and and this is very hard for you. Yeah, and it's causing you to hurt, uh, learn very hard lessons. Whatever happened in this connection and this dynamic, or whatever is going on behind the scenes, um, any arguments or, or things like that, um, you're learning a lot about your family dynamic. This uh, Queen of Pentacles, this uh, matri matriarch of your family, um, or something is being discussed. And it's causing you to learn some very hard lessons about life, situations, um, healing, forgiveness, and things like that. Yeah, because whatever it is that you're going through, it was a very, very hard lesson. Because remember, when I started off in the reading, I, I said that 2022, you guys were going through a deep transformation. Some of you guys really had to go through the deep deep dark shadow of the soul are you still going through that it is a process and it doesn't happen like that it's uh it's you know it's at this time you're ascending and while you're ascending you're being feeling very disconnected and aloof and you're being in this energy because the people around you right are not growing i'm telling you that's the energy yeah they stay playing with you and now they fucking chest hurt yeah Mm -hmm. You could have learned some lies, secrets of whatever that's causing you also to heal and evolve a family dynamic, Sagittarius. Yeah. Because you feel very disconnected from this, these, these individuals. Drop them. Yeah. Which is why the Eight of Cups is here. Yeah. Yeah. Queen of Swords is here, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is here. Yep, Twin Flame. This could be your twin, twin Flame. This Queen of Swords, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, is your Twin Flame. It could be a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. Take it out, resonates. Yeah, somebody's had a change of heart. You could have had a change of heart. They could have had a change of heart. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, or you could have had a change of heart about this queen of swords and you could have revealed this to this queen of pentacles or this family and um, that you want peace and harmony restored, but you were met with a fight. Yeah. Yep. Mixed signals. King of cups energy. Yeah. So you could feel like um, you're getting mixed signals from this queen of swords or this family or something. Take a hot resonance or a queen of cups that's in your energy. A king of cups is in your energy. That's a lot, spirit. You just gossip and gossiping. <laughs> so, you know, spirit get that talking, talking. You're like, listen. <laughs> Why say listen? Look, look, listen. Don't speak. You'll hear what they're not saying. Okay? So, oh, okay. So, you feel like either way. So, some of you guys are dealing with the king of cups and some of you guys are dealing with the queen of swords. Take it how it resonates. Uh... 
take it out resonates at ease, okay? But none of the less, you feel like you're getting mixed signals from this uh, person. But listen, don't speak. You'll hear what they're not saying. And, um, and, and don't forget, peace and harmony will be restored. So if, I feel like this could also too be... You feel like you're getting um mixed signals, or you could, or they could feel like they're getting mixed signals from you. Take it out, it resonates because there's some type of avoidance here, maybe of a topic or a conversation, or whatever about how they really feel. What I do strongly feel in this energy is love, right? Uh, but somebody is running out of options at this time, yeah, and they can't compete where they can't compare. So, oh, or because first card that was the Queen of Swords, so listen. There is a King of Cups who could feel like they're getting mixed signals from you or whatever, or they're trying to compete in this situation with the Queen of Swords, but they can't compete where they don't compare. Because this, this Queen of Swords is your twin flame. That's just the truth, right? This Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius is your twin flame. So there is a King of Cups trying to compete uh, for um, your uh, for your attention. Thank you, spirit. And um, and as they're trying to compete, they're running out of options and time to do this because you could have been avoiding them. Okay, Sagis, take that how it resonates. Yeah, somebody felt like they could be getting mixed signals from you because you are avoiding them or, you know, take it how it resonates. Okay, these are the cards. Just play with, play with them in your storyline. Okay, but this is what's coming out and this is also the energy I do feel. Yeah. All right, their uh huh, their mother don't like you, so your mother could not like this Queen of Swords or King, you know, whatever. Take it out, resonates or this Queen of Swords or whoever your love interest is don't like their mother don't like you, okay. But there's a mother here, right? Queen of Pentacles was the first queen out, which is representation of a mother who don't like your person, which is why you're being met with so much conflict and drama. And this is why you feel very disconnected and aloof from this family dynamic. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they were warned. Now they're getting dog walked, right? Because you guys could have warned them like, look, I'm going back for my empress because the empress did fall out with the emperor. So emperor, empress, take it all names, reverse the roles. I'm going back for my empress or my emperor, period. And it's nothing you could do or whatever. You warn them. And I felt like they've been giving you conflict and drama. Now you dog walking them. Yeah, picking. Thank you. I just said they could be causing conflict and drama and you dog walk them. They've been picking fights and starting petty arguments with you or whatever because they don't like what it is that you're doing or, or take it out resonates or this King of Cups energy or something to that effect. That's too many spirit. Oh my God, look at the point of no return. I believe that. Yep, I believe that. So, so you could be at the point of no return when it comes to this connection. You're over it. You're ready to move away from it. Again, the Eight of Cups did fall out in the energy. Rewind the video. Okay, Spirit, you're poking your head out. Yeah, yeah, head over heels in love with you. Yeah, so your person, your twin flame is twin flame. You guys is bonded together. They're in love with you. So if you guys feel like it's mixed signals from your twin flame or vice versa, this is mutual energy. The This here, this head over heels in love is mutual energy. I feel it. But somebody, um, you could be also in this uh, disconnected and aloof energy from your twin flame as well because you don't know which way to go. Um, cause you feel, you could be the one feeling like you're getting mixed signals as well. Um, this can go any which way. Okay. But this is the energy that I'm reading. This is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. So don't come in my comment field talking crap. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna block him. <laughs> yeah. So look, new blessings are coming in. So expect the good news. Okay. Don't worry, babies. Yeah. Um, some of you guys are under spiritual judgment at this time. Or, um, which means for some of you guys are stuck in mental conflict um, because of how everything has been playing out. A lot of reveals has been going in here too. Yeah, tells lies for the sport of it. Yeah, a lot of lies. So a lot of lies have been revealed or come to surface or found out and things like that. Um, when it comes to this connection, uh, maybe with your people, um, take your heart resonates. Knight of Swords, okay? So this is fast moving action. Somebody could have um, acted out impulsively um, and started telling lies because of their impulsive behavior. Yeah, and now someone's going through an awakening. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. 
foolish child is rest of it all. It's a lot. It's a lot, Saggies. It's a lot for you, babies. What is it? Any more messages? Thank you, Spirit. And look, they're sending you sexual energy, very aroused by you. Are you them, Queen of Wands, Little Airy Sagittarius? That could be y'all sending y'all person sexual energy, trying to get like, damn, what's going on, right? But very depressed and stuck in isolation. Again, this has definitely been y'all energy because it came out in the tarot with the sun card uh, in the reverse. So this is confirmation to the uh the depression and everything um because and you're in this energy as well because you know it's time for you to heal and evolve and become the better version of you um the version that you know you are destined to be and um i feel like you guys are definitely gonna get there um it will take time but um if you're dealing with an empress because the empress came out queen of wands somebody's very beautiful and alluring just as yourself um they will help you heal okay Sagis. so don't worry about that okay of course um everybody wants their person to come to them already fully healed but i don't honestly think there's um any one of us walking who are fully healed okay but the right person will love you and help heal you uh through some really difficult times um and um or give you healing love and support, okay? No one can really heal you. That only you can really heal yourself. But the support of a beautiful, loving energy around you who has your best intentions can assist in the healing process for you, Sagittarius. So um, make sure you surround yourself with only those type of energies. Uh, but I feel like you found that energy in your empress or your emperor. Um that um you truly love um if you feel that it's not neutral that's not true um i'm here to tell you that it very much is true okay so let's get some messages um between you and your person okay some messages of what they want to say to you or you to them um in this time. okay and i'm going to pull a final outcome a potential final outcome what is uh messages for sagittarius yeah somebody's reminiscing reminisce on the love we had <laughs> i'm so mary j blige to listen <laughs> yeah i have sexual fantasies about you well, yeah they do <laughs> You or them, take it how it resonates. Yeah, reminiscing. You, oh, look. Okay, that's way over there. Come on, God. Work with me. Oof. Okay. Hold on. Cars get the flipping out everywhere. <sighs> this is a lot, but I'm going to take them. Okay. Hold on, baby. And y'all know Auntie got nails, so it'd be. I'll be sliding these cards around this. Oh, my God. It's like this card do not want to come up. Hold on. Okay. Ooh, child of stress. Yeah, there it is. This is, didn't I say, uh, I told y'all, y'all are fighting behind the scenes with an uninvolved family dynamic who's mad that you're going towards your empress or your emperor did friends or family look friends or family disapprove of this connection and this is why you guys are depressed yeah and you feel like yeah i can't make this shit up thank you spirit yeah they th this is a big deal right now uh for you guys and and you guys are walking away from this family dynamic because you know that they haven't healed and evolved from their own child, their own traumas in, in bullshit, right? Which is why they can't approve yours. You know this. And this it, it saddens you because um, that's crazy. Because um, I was pulling that energy from the, that card, those cards and 
from the tarot. And it came out in these cards. Listen, it's like, um, this is what's having you in deep depression. Because it's like, you know that your person is for you. This is your twin flame. You, It's like, you can't escape it. But these, this fan, the family and friends, they are stuck. They're the ones that stuck. And this is what's causing you a lot of drama. Yeah. I dive in and out of relationships, right? Um, and I think this is because you try to start over, start with other people because who you really want, you know, your family don't approve of this person. So you go into in, in and out of other relationships unfulfilled, right? But what you really want to say is, can we start over? Yeah, can we start over? Yeah. Uh-huh, Five of Pentacles did come out. And I did say some of you guys are going through some financial distress. Mm-hmm. Due to this depression as well, because you're not working as much or you're limited and you're working. So things is kind of, you know, a little is faltering. Um, for you guys, some of you guys are, um, you don't, you have to give up your apartment or your place or take it out resonates or something to that effect, or you're just going through some financial difficulties at this time. Yeah, finances and are a problem for some of y'all, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is another reason why there's been delays. Um, look, flipped over. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Okay, spirit. <laughs> yeah. I abandon people to make myself feel important. Okay. Yeah, which is that right falling right under. I dive in and out of relationships. Okay, which is not good. So these are some toxic traits that you've been um, developing over time. Um, but this is due to your depression and just how you are um, when it comes to relationships. Um, but I think it's due to they're not fulfilling because it's not your person. Yeah. And it's easy. You're just like, well, you know, you feel like you're on top and you the one who abandoned people because, but this is also a sign of someone who uh, has severe abandonment issues for some of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. This was just a fling. Yeah. So whoever it is that you, uh, diving in, you've been diving in our relationship, are you abandoning, you've abandoned this person. You only looked at them as a fling. Thank you. Yeah. Sagittarius. Oh gosh. And these cards, I'm telling you the way these cards is flying. <laughs> Can you guys hear my nails? It's a mess. <laughs> okay. What is it, Spirit? Yeah, there is a third party. So for some of you guys, a third party is this fling that you guys have been dealing with. Okay. And it's also too, the third party is also, not only is it this fling um, that you guys have been dealing with that you don't want to deal with, you know, you're not even, because you see it's a fling. Um, but it's also this family and friends who don't want you with your person. Yeah. Long distance. So for some of you guys, you're at a distance from your person. Okay. Um, you know, or this is a long distance a relationship. Um, or you're just not, you don't live in close proximity to your twin flame. Okay. Take that how it resonates. <sighs> And one more spirit. And, ooh, you said, I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all of the things going on in my life. Yeah. And that I truly believe, Sagittarius. You got all this family drama. You got this fling, this third party who's leaning on for dear life um, that you have no intentions on being with or whatever you abandon them because, you know, it makes you feel important and they're just not important to you. That's a toxic trait. So that's something you probably need to work on, babies. Uh, okay. What's the potential outcome? Okay. I was first to say one more off the top. Okay. I still have growing to do. Absolutely. Okay. So that's good that you know that, Zaji. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of growing to do. Um, a lot of toxic behaviors to change. Um, but I feel like you guys are going through the changing, going through the transformation. But what I can say is, 
Do not expect to complain to wait for you to go through this change because there will be someone who will scoop them up. And I feel that strong in this energy. So um, be mindful, right? Now, I know you cannot rush growth. So be mindful, okay? Be mindful. Be mindful. And if it's something that you really want, um, I feel the energetically that you need to take the inspired action or you need to um, gracefully bow out. Okay, either way. I feel like um, either way, it will be fine um, for you. But energetically, I feel that's not exactly what you want to do. You do want to start over. Okay, and that's okay too. All right, so let's get it. What's the messages for the potential outcome? Strength again. Yeah, it, it, strength came out. Leo energy in the first spread. Aha, uh -huh, the Empress. Yeah, so you guys, you guys are gaining your strength. You want this empress. That I mean, it's undeniable. I'm gonna just pull these. I was gonna. It's undeniable. You want your empress, yes, and that's okay. That's okay, right? Because I feel like a lot of this is um, fear. It's fear as well. Because so much is going on around this connection. Strength is here, uh, which is you really needing to gain the courage. Uh, strong Leo energy, Empress Leo, I mean Libra, Taurus energy. You can be doing any sign that um, uh, embodies the Empress energy that you want to be with. Are you guys to be in your Empress energy? Take it out, resonates. Uh, what's the potential outcome for this connection? What is it, Spirit? Yeah, High Priestess. Yeah, using your highest intuition and making a decisive decision, right? It's like you just know. Also, too, this is you just have this knowing that this is your person, this empress, this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is your person. Undeniable. Undeniable. You're building up a lot of courage to have this connection. What is it? Oops, spirit. Look at you. Okay. My hands is here. Ah. Okay. Temperance energy. That's you. Sagittarian energy. Bringing in this. It's like you have this high. This this third eye. Is this, this inner knowing. It's a deep inner knowing. Right. Um, That you. That you. That you can have this reconciliation as well as this Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this passionate, brand new beginning, right? You want this very bad, very much coming in guarded. And then I want Nine of Wands energy, okay? You're setting strong boundaries. Um, or this Empress could be setting strong boundaries as well, okay? Yeah. What's the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess? Sagittarian energy here strong. There you are. Nine of wands. Nine of wands is Sagittarian energy. Um, oof, oof, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, spirit. All right. Look at y'all. Queen of Swords. There, I can't make this shit up. High Priestess is the Queen of Swords. Yes. It's like you know. And and this Queen of Swords could be a, a, a high priestess. Um, uh, somebody who's very spiritual, very knowledgeable um, in the spiritual realm uh, could be um, someone who's highly intuitive or a tarot reader. <laughs> Go figure, um, you know, or something like that. But this is someone that you also share. You guys share this commonality um, with this queen of swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, again on the board. Eight of Cups and Six of Wands. So you guys are sex, success, successfully, right, moving out of what, out of uh, uh, moving away from what no longer serves you. Okay, um, so um, our this stagnant routine, 
um, so that you could have victory and success. So it's like you're pulling yourself out so, of this energy so that you could have this new beginning. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, there you are. Knight, Knight, of, Knight of Swords. Very uh, coming in as an unstoppable force, fast moving action, um, you know, so that you can have this successful new beginning after a very painful ending. Yeah. Knight of Wands. Look at you again. Showing up in the energy, okay? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. And seven of uh, finger. Weighing out your options. Okay. Um, but at the same not weighing out your options, sorry. Um, going in uh for to basically uh harvest your fruit, which is this Queen of Swords. Empress energy here. Yeah, you're definitely making um, one of the most difficult decisions of your life um, because you walked away from a family dynamic and uh huh, look for one so that you could have your own family, right? And you're coming very much in as a very uh, diplomatic uh, lover, king of cups energy, right? Um, this is this is beautiful, okay? Yeah, you're headed to your happiness. Look at the sun that is now in this deck in the upright. Okay? Leo energy, okay? But this is unbridled joy. Um this person, this queen of swords, empress energy, high priestess brings you joy. They bring you love, they live in you just an abundance of support. Somebody that you know that you can actually grow and have a beautiful family with. Yeah, look, Queen of Pentacles is how you see this person. Um, you see this person as your mother, uh, uh, as a mother figure, not as your mother, but as a mother figure. Yeah, someone that um, you could um, have the Four of Cups make an offer with. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. Um, yeah, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so you've been hiding the fact that you've been holding on to this person. You've been hiding that. Yeah. And now you want to rebirth. Yeah. And yeah, you do. There you are. Manifesting. Magician. Don't play with me. To have this equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. I can keep going. Yeah, because this is basically what it is. Um, Sagittarius says, you guys are fool. This is a toughie. This one's a toughie. Yeah. So, but it's going to be a beautiful ending um, that's going to have beautiful gains for you in your overall abundance, okay? Because when you have real love and true love in your life, it comes with everything. Look, aha, look, and this card flipped. I said it comes with everything. Look what it is. The Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Absolutely new abundance. Okay, spirit. Period. Period. What did I tell y'all? listen to y'all, Auntie Nay. You better get you one of these. Get what? Uh, Auntie Nay. <laughs> Cause what? She be telling the truth. <laughs> Where a real love tarot? <laughs> oh, y'all know Auntie Annette. Oh, yeah, this is the truth. Okay. So I hope this resonated for you guys, uh, Saggies. Um. And I hope it bring, brought you some clarity and some understanding just about your feelings as well and just understanding the outcome or just resonating with the story or this, the, the tarot all together, um, okay? Um, cross watchers, you are welcome here. So if this is you and you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, this is what's going on, okay? Um, behind the scenes, I'm pronounced to you. Um, so you guys take your emotions. But don't you know hold hold on to your emotions um i know it it could seem kind of distant and cold and um at this time but it's because saggy is really going through it behind the scenes so uh, um this is the twin flame uh, cross watching um be kind to your saggy at this time show them love peace and compassion because at this time is very much needed um it's a lot of changes going on and um, a lot of patience is required. Um, but if you, um, I just, I don't say wait for anyone, but I say live your life. Okay. Um, because it's very necessary um, so that um, you guys could bring in this beautiful union and it's, it's going to happen in divine timing. Don't worry. Um, but a lot of patience is here. So if you're not a, a patient person, um, this could be the time to learn how to exercise that. If this is something that you truly want, 
um, in this connection. Um, and um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So thank you guys for tuning in um, to Real Love Tarot. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys um, exit this video. If you'd like to donate to the channel, if you would like a personal reading, which are limited, okay? Um, you can um, get that information um, on my website at Real Love Tarot by Renee dot com um that um the link is in the description box below and um it's also where you can find out um our book to uh to participate in the how to uh, how to learn how to read tarot class okay which will be taking place march 25th through the 26th um if you um you could pay in full on the website and or you can make uh you can email me to um to request to uh, be put on a payment plan um, via PayPal invoicing um, so you could pay over time, okay? Um, which is great because, you know, it keeps track so you'll know, you know, where you are with your payments and things like that and um, as well, okay? Um, so I've made it multiple made multiple ways for you guys so it's easy for you um, and, you know, it's really good investment if you're looking to start your own tarot channel. Um because you will definitely for sure, I gotta promise you as a reader here on YouTube, will um get that investment back and then some um over time. So um and quickly over time at that. So um uh that's all I have for you. Thank you, Sagittarius, for tuning in and I'll see you guys on your next read. Bye babies.